So I want a little bit of reference for today. So what we're actually going to do is I'm actually going to recreate. Uh, I'm going to recreate a comic cover, okay? And the comic cover I'm going to recreate is this one right here. Oh, uh, that's the timer. It's this one right here. So this one on the side here. This is Avengers number 257. It's the first appearance of the Council of Kang. So I'm going to redraw this particular cover in my style, okay? And, just for old time's sake, we haven't done this in, in ages. We haven't done this in ages. Uh, let me put the audio down here so you can hear me. I put, I put, I put the, the wrong one down. down. There you go, now you can hear me better. There you go. We haven't done this in ages, but I'm gonna go ahead and draw this piece here. Um, yeah, in my style. Most detailed drawing ever style, and we're gonna actually put a timer on it. We're gonna go 10 hours, but the 10 hours can be broken up. Okay, so uh, because of my schedule, I could only work a few hours here, a few hours there, type of thing. So I have some things to do today, so uh, we will see here. Uh, Caleb says, I'm the biggest fan of your work. Thank you so much, Caleb. I appreciate that. Hello, Commander Vic. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, see you here. So Kane okay, from Timeless Volume 11. I haven't seen that one. So there you go. All right, so we're gonna get going uh, on this piece. Now, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I can be talking throughout this whole thing. We will see. Uh, so this, again, this stream's gonna be broken up into a few parts, so we'll see. But before I get started though, before I press play, uh, I just wanted to, we're gonna do this on Instagram as well. So let me uh, get my friends on Instagram on here. Just uh, bear with me guys, bear with me. Add my friends on Instagram here. Let's go live. It's checking my connection. Checking my connection and I, I, got, I got a new, new phone, phone guys. guys, I got, I got a new phone. phone. So I actually can see the Instagram here if I watch it over here. So, so we're going to do that. I'm just going to go to my, see if I can see my own story here. Can I watch myself live? I don't know. Can you actually do that? If I watch it on my other account, I can. I know that. So I'm going to have to log into my other account. Just because I kind of want to see the, the comments, comments, right? But hello, everyone on Instagram. Hello. Hello, DSR. Hello, Zoo Drawing Art. Hello, everyone joining in on Instagram. Uh, we are going to be drawing some Kang here. Th again, th special thanks to my friends uh, at Marvel Studios Canada who um, invited us the other day. So just uh, apologies, guys. I should have had this worked out before. I'm just trying to sign into my other... Uh, my, my burner, burner account. account. <laughs> no, it's not my burner account. It's my muscular artist account. Let's see if I could uh, add it. Log into existing account. I think it's this one. Just bear with me, my friends. Oh, I, actually, no. I just can continue to change phrase. There you go. Oh, yeah. Art. 
scientist. Just so I can see the comments from Instagram. So those on Instagram, don't worry. I'm going to be re responding to you too. I'm talking to you from the quantum realm, I guess so. So again, I saw Ant-Man and the Wasp. A lot of fun. No, no spoilers. Because I can't. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm allowed to give a formal review, but then again, I'm not a reviewer. So I'm not under any embargo. Oh, what's up, Spidey dude? What's up? What's up? There you go. Okay, now, okay, there we go. So I am in the other account now. So now I can watch my live. There you go. Hey, my buddy Chaos Jay's there. How you doing, my brother? Good to see you, my friend. I don't know if you're still in Vancouver or not, but good to see you, my buddy. Good to see you. Uh, so hello everyone who's joining in on uh, Instagram and hello everybody who's watching on all platforms Twitter uh, YouTube let's get going here okay guys I'm not gonna waste any time here let's get going oh let's get going by start by the lead coming out of my pencil there there you go so I am going to start off so we are going to do this in a most uh, detailed drawing ever style so again because it's 12 hours and let me make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing here so uh, for those of you on Instagram who don't know, I am actually trying to recreate a cover here. I am recreating uh, Avengers number 257. I believe the first appearance of the Council of Kangs. So that's what we are doing here right now. Taylor! How are you, my brother? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. It's been a long time. It's nice to stream at a reasonable hour. <laughs> How long, uh, my buddy Poop Abilities here, how long will this stream be for? Not too long, guys. Uh, only about, let's say about at least two hours, two and a half hours at the max. Because, again, I, I got some things I need to do today. Uh, we got a little event uh, with some uh, kids uh, this afternoon. Gonna, gonna make hot chocolate. We had this hot chocolate event. A little chilly here. A little chilly, chilly here in uh, Canada, but that's what we were going to do. But, again, uh... Maybe I, I gotta take a little bit of liberty with this pose here. Liberty with with this pose. Uh, shout out to my friend uh, Ariel. He's killing it on the sub stage right now. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, she just sent me a message. Uh, let's see here. Hello, hello, and hello everyone who's joining in. Hello everyone who's joining in on the Instagram, okay? So, good time to ask me questions, guys, uh, while, while, I'm, while I'm into it right now. And while I'm uh, actually just laying out, getting the structure down before we go in. Have you guys seen this, this Kang, Kang outfit? outfit? You, you see, see how, um, have you guys seen how uh, detailed this thing is? It's pretty nuts. Uh, and a kudos, I'm not sure if my buddy uh, Andy Park, I know Andy, uh, he was the lead uh, lead designer for, he's the lead designer for Ant, Ant Man and the Wasp. But I'm not sure if he actually, uh, Design Kang or not. I'm not sure. Uh, I wish Andy was watching. He could tell us. He could tell us. But I do know that my good friend uh, Anthony Francisco, he designed MODOK. I know he designed MODOK. So good on my buddy uh, Anthony here. I am not liking the proportions on this, guys. I always go a little bit bigger than I, I usually do. So, again, I'm just going to try to sketch out and try to make it a little thinner. Slim them down a little bit here. Hello, Nahid. How you doing, my friend? Is the, the mic, mic echoey, guys? guys? Is, Is the, the mic echoey? echoey? And no spoilers, guys. No spoilers. They won't invite me back. If I give you guys spoilers, Marvel won't let me uh, come back. But I will say that this is actually... It's very interesting about this uh, movie premiere... And I would like to give a huge shout out to my friend Charlotte. Uh, she, first, uh, when I did that in, uh, Infinity, War, uh, Infinity War mural a few years ago, she was the one who took me on the press tour, and, and, and she's fabulous. And she was the one who actually invited me and my family to come and watch Ant Man the Wasp. Now, uh, this, this is, is the, the first, first time, time where, where um, this is the first time where they actually took my phone. Because uh, usually the premieres is only like the day before release. And this time around, they actually, um, it's actually like way in advance. Like it's not coming out until next week, right? And in the Wasp. So 
they actually uh, took my phone. It was actually pretty interesting. They uh, they put it they put it in the special container or a special special pouch that you can't open. So you keep it with you, but it's uh, but you can't open your phone. You can't open your phone. So I thought I thought that was uh, that was pretty cool. It made you feel special, you know, like like, like you were watching something secret. You were watching something secret. But then you know, I was bored for an hour because I didn't have my phone. <laughs> Um, my sound isn't, isn't good. good. Well, well, eh, whatever. This is what it is. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Am I drawing the, uh, Kang from the film or the comic? I am drawing Kang from the comic. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm drawing Kang from the film, but inspired by what you see here. 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 There you go. Let's see here. Uh, so just give me one second here, guys. I'm just making sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. So hello everyone who's joining in on Instagram. Is just checking it out for a little bit. Yeah, you don't have to stay. You just just check out what I'm doing and then hang out, do your thing. Oh, I didn't start the timer. I didn't start the timer. I didn't start the timer. Okay, let's up. I I started. I didn't start the timer. What's up with that? I should cut a few uh, seconds off this. How long have I been going? Okay, I'm gonna start the timer now. You start the timer. There you go. Let's see. TB Stroma says, "Do you remember me?" I, yes, I believe uh, you were the one who said that uh, you forgot me. <laughs> there you go. Again, uh, do I like King's look in the Ant Man? Reese Singh asks. Yeah, I, I do. He looks pretty cool, man. Uh, again, those guys at uh, Marvel Studios, my buddies there. They, they do a phenomenal, phenomenal job. I'll tell you, concept art is a much different job than what I do. Because to design a, an aesthetically pleasing outfit that not, only, that not only looks good when it's a still image, but w looks good when the character is moving, uh, th that's hard, man. It, it's not easy. It definitely isn't easy, for sure. So let's see. Uh, so let's see here. Spidey dude, who's your favorite superhero? I always get asked this question. Uh, and it's always the same answer. Batman and Wolverine. Those are my, those are my two, uh, favorites there. Okay, so. So there. Uh, hang in with the Hughes says, do you think Ant-Man will die? Um... I cannot say anything. I've seen the movie already. I have seen the movie already, and that's why I'm wearing the shirt again. For those of you, uh, uh, for those of you uh, who are watching on Instagram, you can't see my this awesome shirt that uh, Marvel Studios gave me. But uh, that's why I'm wearing the shirt here. So I got to take my time with this because again, I got ten hours to go. Ten hours. So this will be for a ten, ten one, ten one, ten. I haven't done one of these in in quite a few months. Actually, so it'd be nice to do one that's uh, that's different here. Movie has a post credit. I can say that it has two post credit scenes, guys, and they're very, very, very important post credit scenes. No spoilers, but I will let you know. Two post credit scenes stay till the end. Both are extremely important to the future of of uh, of Phase Five. Okay, uh, so I won't say anything more than that. I won't say anything more than that, or uh, or the mouse will hunt me down. But I will say, guys, stay for the two post credit scenes. Now, it was very interesting because it's very interesting because uh, um, a couple of my friends who went, who were at the screening, they they don't you know they're not avid Marvel watchers like us, right? So it was their you know they haven't watched all of them. They, they watched a few, but not all of them. So it was very interesting to me if they actually understood what was going on, uh, and. Afterwards, I talked to them, and they said they, they kind of got it. But, you know, once you get into the multiverse stuff and, and, and all that and, and the variance aspect of it, uh, you know, which I don't think is a spoiler. I, I think we all knew that uh, going in. That's when, that's when it becomes a problem. That's when it becomes uh, an issue. So let me just do one thing, guys. I'm just going to change here something in the live stream. Just uh, give me a second here, my friends. Give me a second. Uh, okay, and a few people watching here today, so thank you guys for, for joining in on the stream here today. Uh, I'm just going to change my stream settings. Okay, uh, 
us. So let me just do one thing here. Specialization. I just uh, I had to change my setting because you know to get rid of some of these uh, the trolley trolls, to get rid of some of the trolley trolls, I want to make sure that if they can they only can comment if they're subscribed. So at least they got to subscribe if you're gonna troll me. There you go. <laughs> Again, hello everybody on Instagram too. Happy uh, Saturday to all of you. Happy Saturday. Oops, not seeing. Save. Save. Okay, so let's go customization detail. I don't know why it's not saving. Okay, hopefully it's saved. We'll see. What is your su what superpower would you have? Hey, Haven says. Thank you, Haven. What superpower would I have? I I always say this. There's a, there's two I want. Either super speed, or uh, there's a, there's a there's a mutant called uh, Jimmy the Multiple Man, the Multiple Man, where he's able to make uh, clones of himself. Uh, I would like that ability just so I could get more work done. There, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So what, what's going to happen is we're going to shoot blasts out of his hand. Okay, which you guys can't see. Uh, so what's going to happen is, guys, once, once I'm uh, done laying this out, I'm going to actually fold this page in half and then, uh, and then draw from there. Uh, hang in with the Hughes. Good to see you, my friend, and nice to see you have a check mark. Big thumbs up. Uh, what is your first? What was your first comic that I bought? Uh, the first comic I remember getting uh, was uh, my, my good friend Mark Michael, uh, who uh, used to work with me. But uh, he, his dad, like we've been friends ever, forever. Uh, his dad bought me my first comic book. It was an Avengers comic, but I don't remember what the number was. But he bought me, a, my, that was my very first, I know it was an Avengers comic, but I can't remember exactly what it was. So, so there you go. But I do remember, like, I, I, um, I remember I got this comic, like, sometimes in the dollar store you could get these packages where they're, like, three comics in one. And I got, a, like, a Quicksilver in the, or it was a Vision and the Scarlet Witch comic. And it was Thanksgiving. And they invited Mag Magneto over for, for dinner. And everybody's like, why'd you invite him? He's a villain. He killed all these people, right? It was very, very interesting. And then they were, ta they were attacked by the uh, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. I forgot what issue that was. But that's the one I remember the most was there. So, All right, so uh, this is pretty much laid out, guys. Pretty much laid out. Uh, I don't know why this uh, setting's not saving, but okay, it is what it is. Ah, whatever. Whatever! Whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the details of this king. I'm just going to pull up some uh, re references, which are stills from the movie. So I'm going to actually, for those of you watching on uh, on YouTube and such, I'm actually going to turn off this Kang reference here. I'm going to turn off this Kang reference here. So just give me a second here. Uh, which is this. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. And I can already see in the camera that like this arm is like way too big, but then it again it's supposed it's supposed to come at you. Hey, but is there a tissue? Hey, but hey, can you go grab me the Kleenex over there, please? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my Kang reference here. Uh, I'm sure our art is great, I guess. I'm sure it's fantastic. I'm sure it's fantastic. So whatever platform you're watching on, feel free to comment and stuff. Uh, so let me go here. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Just a couple. Just a couple. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Get a little tissue here going. That's good. Uh, let me pull up my references here. It wouldn't be in the live stream. It would be in the art rep. I have an art rep folder and I have a Kang folder. Ah. But I will tell you, this was not a cheap movie to make. This was not a cheap movie to make. Like, it, there was a lot of stuff going on in here. Coming from a visual effects background, guys, uh, part of me, like, I'm watching this stuff. 
And then in my head, I'm like, oh boy. If I had to do this shot, oh boy. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to lay out the, uh, the actual... Gonna lay out the actual uh, outfit of Kang here, and then once I've done that, we're gonna fold the paper, and then we will actually go into uh, rendering this thing out here. Okay, so let's do that. But I do want to talk to you guys, so I'll pull up you guys here. There you are. Timer stopped working. Timers stop working. Oh boy. That's what you get for digital timers. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, you know why? Because I, I had it uh, hidden. The timer. Okay, there you go. Oh my gosh, I only have 9 hours and 50, second, 50 minutes left. Oh no! What am I going to do? <laughs> I can still have lunch. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, there you go. Uh, thank you for letting me know, by the way. Ooh, uh, Taylor, love, I'd, I'd love to see that. You gotta show me that. Let's see here. So just give me a second here, guys. I'm just gonna uh, take a few minutes here and just rough out his outfit before we... Uh, rough out the outfit before we go ahead and uh, do a, a solid rendering of this. Okay. So good to see everybody here today. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Again, I'm just going until maybe 1.30, maybe 1.30ish. So let's see here. Uh, comic Artist 101 says, what's your favorite Marvel film? Um, well, let's see here. Well, of course, of course, Endgame, of course, Civil War, like people, no, not Civil War, um, well, Civil War was great, too. Uh, of course, uh, Endgame, you have, um, Winter Soldier was fantastic, but if I'm going to be honest, hey, you know, you know, I'm an honest guy, you guys know that. Uh, one of my favorites, personal favorites, is, uh, uh, Thor Ragnarok. I laugh so hard in Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, you know, I'm always, uh, I'm always uh, going to the movies that, you know, that movie entertained me the most, I think, out of all of them. Like, the other ones are great, right? Don't get me wrong. Infinity War, fantastic. Uh, Endgame, fantastic. Civil War, fantastic. Um, but that, that Thor made me laugh so much, so much. Uh, I, I think that's got to be, like, right up there. On my list, I love Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi was fantastic as well. Is Modoc CG good in the movie? Um, let's just say it's interesting. I don't, I don't want to say any more, and I don't want to give spoilers, okay? So, but I will say it's, it's interesting, and Modoc has a very funny arc, okay? I'll just, I'll just leave it at that, okay? I'll just leave it at that. It's very funny, okay? And then, you know, we'll, we can, maybe we'll do like a, a, a more spoilerish uh, discussion about it later on. Because there were some interesting choices they made with MODOK. I found very, very interesting. Uh, but we'll, we'll talk about it once you've seen it, okay? We'll definitely talk about it once you've seen it. Because they did, they did some interesting things with MODOK. But again, a huge shout out to my, my brother. My brother from another mother. That's we, as we say, uh, uh, Anthony. For designing Modoc, he did, he did a fantastic job with that video. Uh, let's see. TP says, uh, "Please don't give spoilers. I I can't give spoilers, or the mouse will come for me. The mouse will come for me. So definitely no spoilers here, my friend. A very good movie, guys. Very very good movie, and and you will enjoy it. So make sure get get your tickets, guys. Go go watch it. Go watch it. It's a lot of fun. So we can talk about it. I'd love to talk about it freely with you guys. I would love to talk about it freely." With what advice would you give for inking? Um, confidence. 
That's the number one thing when it comes to inking confidence. Uh, because inking is so permanent. Because inking is so permanent, people get scared uh, when it comes to inking. Um, after a while, I realized, and me too, uh, me too, absolutely. But after a while, I realized, you know, I, I think 95% of the time, if I make a mistake while inking, I'm able to fix it. It's very, very rare that I, I find myself in a situation where I can't fix it anymore. I just, I can't. So, there you go. Do I prefer Marvel or DC? I, I'll assume you mean DC. Well, that's what DC used to stand for, right? Uh, I like both, man. No, no, I'm not picking sides. I'm not. No, sir. You can't make me. I've been a comic fan my whole life. Well, not my whole life. I, I'll take that back. Uh, I've been a comic fan since I was in high school, which is a long time, which is a whole life for all of you guys, which is a whole life for all of you guys. And I, I loved both for my entire uh, comic book geekdom. So I refuse to pick. I refuse. Well, why, why do you have to pick? Why, why does that always have to be one against the other? I always say that. Why does everyone have to be so divided? Let's be united, not divided. United, not divided. Okay, so we're getting to the point here, guys, where I'm okay with the bottom part. We'll get to that later. I'm actually going to fold this page in half. And we are just going to work on the top half here. Um, son, can you do me a huge favor? Uh, son. Son. You do me a huge favor. Go into my room. And go get me one of those uh, big yellow pads of paper. It's in the corner of my room, near the closet. Okay, because uh, before I fold this, I, I need that. Okay, move my cameras. Move my cameras. Huh? There's a big pad of paper, pad of paper, like this. Go, go get that for me, please. Thank you, son. Okay, so we just have a minute. Am I going to draw Dr. Seuss characters uh, in a Marvel style? I think I will, actually. That would be a lot of fun, for sure. Uh, Sin says, what's your favorite Ant-Man movie? Um, I would say this one is the better one. I, th I think this one is the better one, for sure. Um, Status Fuan says, how do you shade colored clothes in black and navy compared to light colored clothes? Just make me, sometimes bigger shadows, sometimes bigger cross hatching. It all depends on how I feel, to be honest. So, so there you go. Okay, thank you very much. That's, that's it. I just wanted to get a piece of paper here so I don't wreck the other side because it, it could get marks. So I'm just grabbing a piece of paper here. So this is more, again, just to protect the other side. So we, now we're going to get into the actual rendering of this thing. Hey, Bob. How you doing, buddy? Okay, Bob pointed out the spamming. Oh, you guys know I don't like the spam. I like eating spam. I like eating spam. Okay, good to see you, Bob. Good to see you, Bob. You excited for the chamber? You excited for the elimination chamber, brother? <laughs> oh, man. I'm more excited for the elimination chamber than, than for uh, WrestleMania right now. <laughs> I'll say that. There you go. Now, Spam Masubi is amazing, my friend. It is amazing. Just give me a second. Here. Let me just uh, put that up here so you can see. And I'm just going to zoom in my other camera here, guys. Just bear with me for a second. I'll zoom in with my other camera. Spam is good. I guess I'm uh, thinking. Spam is good. Thank you. Sackling says, big fan. Thank you, my friend. Good to see you. All right, let's get going, guys. Uh, so, right now is the fun part. I'm going to try to draw a Kang likeness here. Let's try to draw a Kang likeness. So, did I ban him? I did not ban the spammer. No, no. He's, he's just, he just wants me. That's the thing. You know, like, sometimes you can tell the difference between someone who's just excited. And then someone who just wants to get my attention, and someone who's just trying to be a troll. 
And uh, that person uh, wasn't trying to be those things, just wanted to get my attention. So I just put it in timeout for now. And that's fine. Uh, so just give me a second here. I'm just going to put up my Jonathan Majors. Is this the year of Jonathan Majors, guys? The year, uh, like the Creed, they say he steals the show in Creed. Now let's see if I can get this likeness right. I don't know. We're going to find out, guys. We're going to find out. Can I get the likeness right? Let's find out here. My likeness skills. My likeness skills. Uh, Blade Runner says, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rose. And I, I apologize, guys, if I go in and down wrestling. Here and there, I, I try not to do it that often because I know uh, not everyone's a fan. But uh, it does pique my interest when I watch because a lot of you know I'm a huge wrestling fan. I am planning on doing a wrestling channel. I've been planning it for a while now. I just want to make sure if I start that I'm not going to stop. Okay, that, that's my biggest thing. If I'm going to start a wrestling channel, I'm not going to... I'm going to start a wrestling channel. I'm not going to, you know... It's got to be regular. I don't want to just put a couple videos up and then leave it. So, so that's, that's why. Uh, but I will I'll see who's going to win. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's Cody. I think uh, Roman's going to get some time off afterwards. And again, it's going to be very interesting. That's why I'm so interested in the Elimination Chamber. Just to see what they're going to do with Sammy. But we'll see, okay? So, uh, but again, guys, I don't want to talk too much about the wrestling. Because uh, there you go. Would you love to see some artwork with Nintendo characters? Roger Green asks. What would you have a, a first pick? Um, I wouldn't mind doing Zelda. Zelda would be fun. Uh, but, you know, I do have, I do want to do a few more Mario videos. There's a couple more Mario videos I want to do. Because you guys are, have been noticing I've been incorporating a lot more toys into my uh, videos for a couple of reasons. Number one, my, my kids are getting really into Lego. So I'm buying all this Lego anyways. Might as well use them. Uh, number two, I think it adds a little bit to the videos. I'm having a lot of fun looking at these toys. And number three, it gives me a reason to buy toys. <laughs> Let me be honest. <laughs> Anybody want to send me toys? Anyone want to send me toys? You're more than welcome to send me toys. There you go. <laughs> oh, uh, Sin thinks I'm James Gunn. Uh, I'd be wearing uh, much better clothing than this. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I was James Gunn. There you go. Comic Artist 101 says, uh, when did I start drawing? I've always been drawing. Didn't take it seriously till high school. Okay. Didn't take it seriously till high school. So I was think the late teens, I would say. Late teens. Uh, let's go with that. Late teens is when I really started. There you go. So I'm going to go in and out, guys. I'm, I'm going to talk a lot, then I'm not going to talk a lot. You know, it all depends because I got, you know, just concentrating on what I'm, what I'm doing here for now. Thank you, Comic Arts. Thank you. Let's see here. Uh, Bob says hey, we're going to get main event Jey Uso back. We'll, we'll see. I, I hope so. You know, it's, it's time for those guys. I think it's time for those guys. Like, I think everybody's expecting a turn from Jay at the chamber. That's the only way to get around. But people are really interested in this Cody stuff now, too. So, again, don't want to talk too much about wrestling. I always say that, but then I say, then I uh, keep talking about wrestling. So, <laughs> timer's not working again. Thank you. Thank you. Always let me know if the timer's not working, guys. Let me know. The timer's working. It's just uh, not updating. So there you go. See, there you go. If I do this, okay. There you go. Thank you, Israel. Thank you. I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into the actual details of this. So I am trying to draw this in the most detailed drawing ever style. And then, but when it's not a robot, like how are you going to draw it in the most detailed drawing ever? Well, a couple ways you can do it. Number one, add as much detail as you can. Draw every line that you can to something like this. And then, and then all else fails to just do a really, really extremely 
a big background, you know? So let's see. Uh, how's Rams Jays? I don't know, Dalton. I haven't seen him in a while. Timer stopped again. I think I need to keep it up. That's the thing. I gotta need to keep it up on screen. Thank you guys for letting me know about the timer. There you go. Lots of unnecessary detail. That's right. That's right, Taylor. I gotta find that jingle. I can't find it. I gotta find that jingle. <laughs> Maybe you need to send it to me again, buddy. You gotta send me the jingle again. Taylor gave me this uh, really cool, uh, unnecessarily detailed jingle way back a few years ago. And uh, there you go. Uh, so Israel says, am I going to do Dr. Seuss characters in the Marvel style? Yes, I am. I will. Absolutely. So y you might notice a pattern of what I'm doing now, guys. I'm doing well, Mario. Good to see you, brother. I'm a little later than usual for you. A little later than usual. Oh, Mateo's going to make me an updated one. Love to hear it, my brother. Love to hear it. Um, you know, I just had a little bit of time. I was I wanted to do, get a couple hours of drawing in. I thought, why not? Why not go live here? So there you go. So I'm actually going to go straight to ink now, guys. Going straight to ink. I just want to make sure I got the details. One thing in the Quantum Mania thing is, I don't have a lot of detail for the helmet. There's a lot of detail around for the actual out, actual outfit, but for the helmet itself. For the helmet itself, it's uh, not much. I think there's like a few things. Draw wrestlers in the Marvel style? That's coming, my friend. Blade Runner, that's coming. Oh, here we go. Here's one. But it's dark. Just give me a second, guys. I'm just going to throw this one piece of reference into Photoshop. Webmaster said, I was trying to draw most detailed Spider-Man, but didn't finish it. Okay, this is for all of you guys who are trying to do a most, quote-unquote, most detailed drawing ever. I always say, get it to a regular detailed drawing ever first, and then add on top. And that way, if you don't finish it, it's not that big of a deal. Right? Because then you still have a solid drawing. So I'm just... Uh Because I'm trying to see what happens with his face here, and it's actually... Because I'm actually going to take a little bit more liberties with this, too. I'm going to add stuff. Going to add stuff to Kang here? So we'll see. Comic artist, when did you start YouTube? Uh, my friends, this is the year. This is my 10th anniversary on YouTube. 10th anniversary on YouTube. Can you believe that? I've been doing this for 10 years, my friends. 10 years I've been doing YouTube. How many of you are from the beginning? Any of you here were there in 2013 when I first started uh, this YouTube video, right? So happy anniversary. Thank you, One Mighty Art. Thank you, anniversary. Thank you so much. Uh, 2013, my Iron Man video, my Iron Man 3 video, that was uh, the first one. Do I, do I know who Christy Partridge Arm is? I, I absolutely do. Um, we, have, uh, we have a little uh, community of uh, artists, uh, she's, uh, and uh, she's someone we know pretty well. I don't know if she knows who I am. Not many do, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but, but <laughs> Not many do, but that's all right. Uh, but yeah, Martin uh, Mariara joined in 2015. I, I, would, I, will, I always say that um, uh, 2015 is more like my second start date. 2015 is my second, because my, my initial start date was, my initial start date was 20, 2013. That's when I uploaded my first video to this channel. But then I went on a hi hiatus for a little bit. I went on hiatus for a little bit. And then I didn't restart till 2015. So it's like my second, second uh, channel there. So, or second start to the channel. But yeah, so May 1st. So I don't know if we're gonna do anything big or not for my uh, 10th anniversary on YouTube, 
you know, people are saying like recreate my the very first video I did. But the problem with that is I've done it already. I done it already, right? Uh, uh, Taylor showed up with it during the jazz of it and then powered through the backlog. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much, Taylor. Uh, but I've done that already. Like I've done, I've done a hundred iron, fifty Iron Man. I've done two hundred Iron Man. So it's like, what, what do I, uh, what do I do? What do I do? What can we do to sell? I'll, I'll ask you guys that. I'll throw that question off to you guys. What? How should I celebrate? <laughs> don't say meet up because, uh, to be honest, a lot of you guys are all spread out all over the world. So I don't. I wouldn't expect. I wouldn't uh, expect a lot of you guys to show up <laughs> if I did any sort of meet up. But I could do something fun. We'll definitely do something live for sure. We gotta. We gotta have some fun. Happy anniversary, man. Happy anniversary. Ten. Ten years on YouTube. Wow. Uh, let me just do one thing here. I want to see what this art looks like. There you go. There you go. There Oh, KeyJX threw in a super uh, super chat. Thank you so much, KeyJX, as you celebrate by taking a break. <laughs> I took a lot of breaks. I, I took a lot of breaks, actually. Uh, so. And that's, that's how you know, guys, that's how you know that, uh, you know, you enjoy what you do, is that even when you take a break, you're like, man, I, I want to I make more videos. You know, I want to draw. So. You know this uh, music? Timer stop again? Yeah, you know why? Every time I hide that timer, it, it stops. Uh, on the live, it's still going. It's still definitely going. There you go. It's going now, see? It's going, Chi. It's going, Chi. There you go, Chi. When you hit your subscriber goal, uh, you can go to the beach and let, the balloon, uh, let go balloons. <laughs> Two million balloons? That'd be sick. Um, I don't really have subscriber goals anymore. Like, I've already achieved, you know. Because at the end of the day, too, like, you, you can't really control subscriber count. You really can't. Right? Uh, all I can really focus on is trying to make the best videos I can. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Right? So... I, I used to have subscriber goals, but now it's more like, eh, whatever. Oh, morning, Luis Ramos, Ramos Art. Luis Ramos Art, good morning to you, my friend. He's on uh, Instagram there. So, uh, let me go back to the um, uh, the restream chat here so I can see everyone else who's talking. I can find it. Where's the restream chat? There you go. Oh, thank you, Israel. I appreciate it. Drawing rolls and my goal is 100 subs. Well, there you go. Well, I always say, when you have a goal, guys, it's, and it's fantastic to get goals, right? It's fantastic to get goals. However, the next question is, how are you going to achieve it, right? What can you do every single day to achieve that goal? Like, you can have a money goal. You can have, like, a subscriber goal. That's, that's all well and good, and that's great. That's great. But I think a better, even better goal than that is to, fit, is to try to come up with something that you could do daily that could result in those goals happening, right? So how am I going to get uh, 100 subscribers? Well, number one, you got to make videos that people will want to watch. Number two, you got to consistently make videos so you can learn how to do that. So your goal should be make more videos, make more shorts. God, guys, if you're not making shorts... Take this from a guy who's not making shorts right now. Make shorts. <laughs> but you're not making shorts, James. Yeah, I, I probably will sooner than later. But when 
YouTube is putting all their time and effort behind something and all their resources. Shorts is the place where it's where it's at right now, guys. Make shorts if you're not already. Make shorts, dudes. Make it. Do you guys like the music? I, I went, went for, for funk, funk music today. So funky. Thank you, Benny. Benny Thomas is here. How you doing, bro? Good to see you, man. One Mighty Art's gonna make shorts. There you go. Go for it, my friend. Go for it. Like I'm telling you, people are growing so fast just on shorts right now. Millions in, in a matter of months just on shorts. Now, as of right now, you know, uh, YouTube has a creator uh, fund for shorts now. And they support your percent of the re revenue. Don't do it with an intention of making money. Because right now, people aren't making a lot of money off the shorts. They're not. Even with this new creator thing that, that YouTube's doing, they're not making a lot of money off shorts. So don't expect to make a lot. You could get millions of views and only make a few dollars. So it's a way to help grow and kickstart your channel and hopefully transition them to longer form content, which will make money for you. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, here it is. Oh, thank you. Uh, Key JX threw in another super chat. Thank you so much, Key JX. I, I really appreciate it, my brother. Thank you so much. Uh, what kind of background is going to be? Space, subatomic, warping reality? Probably quantum realmish. We'll do something quantum realmish. There's some amazing imagery. That, and that's one thing about the MN movie, I can say, is that uh, the, the effects work in the backgrounds. It's pretty, pretty awesome. So I, I will be incorporating some of that in this piece for sure. So uh, let me see here. Let me go back my, to my references. But thank you again, KJ, for the, uh, for the super chat. I really appreciate it, my brother. Thank you so much. Um, let's see here. Oh, by the way, um, the Geno Smith says, are you live on YouTube too? I, I am. I am. Gavin wants me to do a flash painting. Not right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I fancy a bump. That's an interesting name there, my friend. Oh, it's going to look amazing as always. Love it, Race. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you to everybody uh, who's joining on uh, Instagram. Fluffy Cookie says, how do, you, how do you imagine your own character? Uh, you know, and that's one thing. I'm, I'm not very good at creating characters. You know, people think because I draw that I have this wild like character imagination. I got all these stories in my back pocket. I really don't. I really don't. Like I'm better at bringing other people's stories to life than making my own. Um, like I, I have a couple. I, like I have a couple that I thought about, but nothing. Writing's hard, man. Writing's hard. It, it's it's hard, and it's not for me. Like if I was gonna do anything, I would uh, do my kids. My kids' properties, the ones that my kids make. But for me, nah. Nah. VJ says, you're my favorite artist. Well, thank you so much, VJ. I appreciate that, my friend. Uh, Iron Man will return in Ant-Man Quantum Mania. I will, I will say this definitively, guys. He does not. Okay. <laughs> Is that a spoiler? Well, I don't want you to go in there with your hopes up, okay? No Iron Man there, okay? No Iron Man... And Ant Man, I can say that definitively, and I don't think I'll get in trouble. Okay. Okay. So again, for those of you who just joined in, uh, again, a huge thank you to my friends at Marvel Studios Canada, and my friend Charlotte for inviting me, myself, and my family to watch uh, Quantum Mania. Uh, so we did just did that uh, on Thursday night. Thursday night was the Canadian premiere. And we got to watch it. It was a lot, a lot of fun. There you go. So, Spencer's, uh, how was the premiere? A lot of fun. Um, the thing with Canadian premieres, guys, you don't expect, like, you see in the, the U.S. premieres where all the celebrities are there and all that. It's, it's, it's different. It's different. A lot of it, uh, a lot of people who attend are creators like myself. Uh, a few uh, TV stars. And they usually just have, like, one big celebrity that comes I want to see celebrity somebody from the movie and uh, they have the girl that played uh, Cassie come there so if you look at my uh, story right now you can see me right behind uh, the, the the actress uh, her name is Catherine who played uh, played Cassie you see me behind her there 
So they usually have one big celebrity that go to these things. And the rest are like influencers and people who worked on the movie and stuff like that, right? So there you go. Did I meet Paul Rudd? No one might have. No, no. The, Cassie was the only one who came to the to this premiere itself. So now if I lived in LA, it'd be a different story. If I lived in LA, but uh, I do not. So I live in Canada. I'm Canadian. I'm Canadian. Canadian, as we say. So there you go. Let's see. Mario's drawing bodybuilders right on. Uh, you should draw a piece for Paul. For Paul Rudd? Yeah, sure. Well, you know, I can, I can always uh, send this. Hey, hey, guys, can you do me a favor then? For those of you on Twitter, I'm live on Twitter as well. If you wanted to tag, and even those of you on uh, Instagram, if you wanted to tag Marvel Studios Canada, if you want to try Marvel Studios, if you wanted to tag... Um, Tag jo uh, Jonathan Majors or Paul Rudd. Show them what I'm doing right now. Yeah, go for it. By, by all means. If you did it, let me know too, and I'll, I'll give you a shout out. I'll give you a shout out right now if you do that. Zoom in a little bit, guys. I'm just gonna zoom in, just a little bit on the. Uh, which I can't. Oh, there you go. I can zoom in. I'm a zoomer. I can zoom in on the Instagram. I'm zoom in on the Instagram there. There you go. Webmaster wants to draw a man the Wasp maybe. There's a lot of fun things to draw for sure, and I, and I'm telling you guys, um, when. When you're not, uh, what's it called? When you're not stuck with the algorithm and you get to draw just what you want, it's very freeing in that sense. Like, whether this video gets a million views or this video, this particular video gets like, like a hundred views. It doesn't matter because I'll be drawing it anyway. And it's more fun for me. make sure my cameras are recording here which they are they are recording let's see here draw uh, Dan Sung wants me to draw Naruto in Marvel style yes absolutely I drew him once in a Marvel style a oh, quite a while ago okay so I'm just gonna add we're going into unnecessary detail mode but I'll definitely do it again webmaster my, uh, and I mentioned this before, my brother-in-law, um, his name's Raham, love his name, Raham, he, um, he started collecting all of these One Piece figures and Naruto figures and, uh, Dragon Ball figures, and they look fantastic. Thank you, Art, yeah, thank you very much, appreciate it. Um, and they, they, they're phenomenal, these things, and expensive, and expensive. Uh, so, I want to use them for videos. So he said he said I could, which is uh, fantastic. Thank you, thank you, Koya, thank you, Koya. Drawing details you never see, you never see these details up close. It will all blend together. Let's see. Uh, Val thinks uh, that Kang will be the main villain of Secret Wars, not Doom. Well, we'll see. We will see. Um, you know, I'm trying not to say things that I shouldn't right now. I'm trying not to say things that I shouldn't right now. Okay? So that's why uh, I think we will do it like a spoiler stream maybe in a couple weeks. So... Uh, Aaron Sarkar wants me to draw Ben 10 aliens with Iron Man suit. That'd be fun. That would be a, a lot of fun, actually. Uh, I will be doing another Ben 10 
uh, drawing soon, guys. I know that did actually did very well, that Ben 10 one we did. So I'm going to continue that Ben 10 series. The question is, will I connect all of them or not? That's the question. Will I connect all of the Ben 10 uh, drawings? Or keep them their own separate thing? I'm not sure. Because how many aliens are there? Right? How many aliens? So, uh, Let's see here. Uh, Bat Bal, Bal says, I subscribe to you some, uh, for some time and I encourage you. I don't know how much art I can make, but some decent ones. I'm sure they're more than decent, my friend. Keep at it. Keep at it. It's good to hear, my friend. Great to hear I inspire you. You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. Uh, Danny Guitarwood says, my little brother is an insane artist. You have inspired him so much. Well, thank you so much, Danny, and then thank you to your brother, your little brother. Get him on here. Get him on here. Let me talk to him. Let's see here. Uh, Del Monte Green Bean says, I used to be able to draw. What do you mean used to, to Del Monte? What do you mean you used to? You still can. You're just out of practice. That's all. How long do you think it will take you to finish that piece? Uh, Kimosabi says. It's amazing already. Well, Kimosabi. Kimosabi. Um, I'm, I'm going to go for 10 hours. Right now, I'm at the... Not, um, we're roughly around 45 minutes right now. So I'm just going to keep adding unnecessary stuff for 10 hours here. But today, but this particular stream right now, we're only going till roughly around 1 o'clock. So about another hour and a half. Uh, hour and a half. And then uh, we'll go there. Hey, Israel says, uh, nice singing. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. What pen am I using? Micron, my friend. Now, a couple things. Um, I have my good buddy Jazza. You guys know Jazza. Uh, he sent me a very cool art kit that I will be unboxing live. So I will, I will unbox that live with you guys. We can take a look at that uh, a little later on, okay? But not not today. Maybe another time. Maybe another stream down the road. Hey, my kids are here. They're, oh, wow! Look at that. Let me show everybody. Hey, guys, look at this. Look at this. Talk about Lego. I hope I don't drop it. Look at this. Yes. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. You can't see this on Instagram, right? I should have bought you flowers. Ah! I dropped the Lego. I dropped it. Oh, what, what happened? You dropped the Lego. I dropped the Lego. I dropped the leaf. I dropped the leaf. Flowers for you, my friends. I should have bought you flowers. And held your hand. They're saying hi, guys. You see that? They're saying hi. Hi. Isn't that nice? Uh, show everybody on Instagram. Look at that. Look at that. That's a Lego. Is this orchid? Oh, they can't see it? Can they see it? It's an orchid. These are Lego orchids. You Take see that? Out. That's Take nice. It. Take the leaf. Take the leaf. Uh, how, do, how do I put it on like this? Like that? Okay. They'll fix it. They'll fix it. Look at that. That's nice. Look at that. Here you go. Thank you, guys. Very cool. Very cool. Now let's not break it. Okay, now work on the starry night. That's our new hobby. That's, that's our new, new hobby. hobby. Like Lego, and that's that's another reason I'm I'm doing a lot of Lego stuff. First of all, I've met a lot of uh, Lego creators right now. So shout out to them, guys like TD Bricks, guys like Sacred Bricks, guys like uh, Mini Superheroes Today. Uh, you'll see uh, a lot of their work popping up in my videos recently, and thank you to them for giving me permission to put those in my videos. Uh, but oh, uh, Danny's little brother's name is. Jack, Jack, my friend, Jack, my friend, shout out to you, brother, shout out to you, Jack, heard, I heard you're an amazing artist, my friend, heard you're an amazing artist, make sure you, uh, you, uh, oh, I'm not sure if you're on Twitter or not, or tag me in your art, I'd love to see it, my friend, love to see it, and that's all of you guys, make sure you, make sure you do that, all right, so, uh, but again, that's why we're doing. I'm doing a lot of Lego because my, my family's really into Lego now. Now that wasn't the case before. Before, when they were younger, I'd buy them Lego, and then the next thing I know, they're just on the floor, and then I'd step on them because <laughs> I because <laughs> I'd step on them. So we didn't buy Lego. But then my my youngest daughter, uh, she really started to get into Lego. 
and, and she would finish these things like super fast. So that's what I've been doing, buying a lot, a lot of Lego recently. So there you go. Yes, that hurts, Mario. You should see the bottom of my feet. You should. <laughs> that's a video in and of itself, my friend. That's a video in of itself. There you go. Let me, let me pull this up just a little bit. Just a little bit. As you can see here, I am definitely adding detail that's not there. So I'm, I'm enhancing my brother uh, Andy Park's uh, design. Uh, Andy, I don't know if... I, Andy's not watching for sure, but I wonder if Andy could tell me if he actually designed Kang or not. But Andy designed most of the... Uh, a lot, a lot of the uh, designs that you guys know and love, for sure. So, oh boy. So we'll see. I get, start drawing again, uh, kids art series, please. I'd love to, but my kids are old. That's the problem. My kids are old now. And they're good. <laughs> they're old and they're good. So, I kind of don't want to do that anymore. Because it's not as cute. You know, it's, it's cuter, cuter when it's like a, a six-year-old or, or an eight-year-old drawing. And then, and then you enhance it or you take their design and enhance it. So again, like uh, I did say, you know, people making Lego creations and I recreate it. I think that would be a lot of fun to do. Do your kids like to draw as well into the void? Not as much as before. Not as much as before. They used to. By the way, here, here's a question for you, my friend. Uh, comic artist loves the detail. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Here's a question for you. How many of you guys, any of you guys playing Hogwarts Legacy right now? Any of you guys playing that game? It's all the rage right now. It's definitely uh, in the news. The Hogwarts Legacy game. Nope. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. No, but I will. Hey, Danielle's here. Good to see you, Danielle. Good to see you. A little later than usual, Danielle. But, uh, but again, much better for a lot of people, especially on the, uh, in the North American market, for sure. I'm sure this time's a lot better. For a bunch of you, uh, but again, I had a, I had a few minutes uh, this morning, so I thought to myself, "Hey, why don't why don't I jump online and do it?" So uh, let's see here. Uh, Bat Bat's got exams. That's right. That's right. Oh, CM CBM reviews retweeted. Thank you so much, CBM reviews. Go follow my buddy CBM reviews. Retweeted. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Well, I uh, just watched too. I, I was a couple. When did we watch it? Uh, but when did we watch uh, the Cursed Child? When did we watch that? A couple weeks ago. I just watched uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So again, in the effort also to uh, write off a few things, <laughs> um, I think I'm going to be doing like a Harry Potter uh, mashup, mashed up with Avengers. I might do that. Um, so that would be a lot of fun to do. I think I could have turned them into like uh, wizards, right? Well, they are wizards already, but turn them into like, uh, you know, Doctor Strange type wizards. So probably Matt, if they were in the Sanctum Sanctorum, what would they look like? So I want to give them like these wizard style outfits. I, I think that would be a lot of fun to do. I could do like wizard uh, style outfits, but then maybe add a little bit of Iron Man in there too. That, that'd be cool. Right? That'd be pretty awesome. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, you're welcome, Jack. You're welcome, Jack. Jack Garwood Art with uh, zeros for the wood. Jack Garwood Art. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. And keep drawing, my friend. Keep drawing. Keep at it. So I'm definitely going to add a lot more unnecessary detail to this, by the way. Definitely going to add a lot more. There you go. Uh, uh, comic artist watched the Black Panther Phase 4 drawing. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. If you guys haven't seen that yet, please do um, do watch that. That's okay, Webmaster. 
please do do that. Uh, just came out yesterday. Just came out yesterday. I did a Black Panther Wakanda Forever piece while we put together some Black Panther Lego. That was a lot of fun. So if you get the chance, go ahead and check that out. Now, again, again, guys, like a lot, I know a lot of you have been talking about the views and all that stuff. It, it's fine to me because... Um, Say I'm trying to build a new audience, but it is a lot different. A lot of the what I'm doing right now, and uh, oh my God. Uh, Mario, can you uh, time out Maya there? Maya, I know you just mean well. Maya, I know you mean well, but uh, no need to spam there, Maya. So okay, thank you, thank you very much, Mario. You're the best. Thank you, and and Maya, don't worry. I, I know that you're just. Uh, you just want to say hi, but no need to spam, my friend. No need to spam. So I want to add more detail, detail to, to the, the face, face here. We're going to add a bunch more. Because, you know, uh, when you're drawing for 24 hours or whatever, it's fine if you're drawing 100 characters. That's fine. But when you're drawing for... Um, if you're drawing for, uh, what's it called? Just one character for 10 hours, then it becomes a little bit of a challenge. If it's not a transformer, a little bit of a challenge. A little bit, if you're not doing color, it's like, that's a lot. That's a lot of time. Uh, let's see here, see, um, see Mario B B Bass. Uh, I, I don't really understand. I do understand you're from Colombia. Hello, my friend. And I know uh, Trabajo isn't that job, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> my, my apologies, my friend. My apologies. I understand. But thank you for being here, my friend. Thank you. Yes, I'm not uh, very uh, fluent in the Spanish. Spanish. Not very fluent in the Spanish. I'm not sure if that's Spanish or not. I'm pretty sure that's Spanish. Uh, Titus Jackson says, amazing work. Thank you very much, Titus. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Any trick not to spread graphite from your hands while sketching? A lot of people I know, they use, um, uh, they put a, like a, a piece of, um, a na they put a napkin underneath their hand. Uh, so that, that's definitely one you could do, but then it, that could still smudge. At the end of the day, you could go ahead and buy one of those, uh, you know, those, those gloves. Those Wacom, Wacom gloves, maybe. So there you go. Oh, Mario says, uh, looking slim. I guess the character of a diet is working. I might try it. I won't lie, it is. It's working very well. It's working very well. I've, I've dropped 30 pounds. i dropped 30 pounds uh, since Mario. Again, uh, it's tough. Again, I wouldn't do it. If you don't have to do it, if you don't have to do it, don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Eat your vegetables. Eat your vegetables, guys. It's good for you. Uh, but for me, for the guy who's tried every diet under the sun, uh... It's, it's a, a very, very restrictive diet, but at the same time, right now, right now, I don't crave anything. I don't. Uh, now, I haven't checked any of my blood work now, so I am hoping to check my blood work soon. I am hoping to check my blood work soon, so I can let you guys know if I've done any damage <laughs> to myself or not. But I feel, I feel the best that I had in a long time. My sleep apnea kind of went away, which is kind of weird. My sleep apnea went on away, went away. So, there you go. Uh, gloves are the best. What type of cloth they are made of? Yeah, I have a couple of those gloves. I just don't know where they are. So, unnecessary detail. Unnecessary detail. No, Taylor's still here. We need to remix that song, my friend. Remix. I'm just adding stuff just to add stuff right now. I might add some more stuff to his face. Maybe I'll make him like a, you know, like Vision. I want to add more stuff to his face. Let's see here. Uh, let's see if I can get some reference here. Where is Ant-Man? Okay. You weren't kidding about the details, CMB Reviews. You know me. You know me, guys. You know me, I like them details. Okay, we're coming up to the hour mark here, guys. So again, uh, this is not gonna be 10 hours straight. I definitely will be cutting this up. I might be, I'm not doing everything on camera, but uh, we'll do quite a bit on camera. 
And when I say on camera, like live, everything live, just pulling up some reference here, guys, because I did, I think I did see some cool can, uh, uh, there you go. And let me pull back up the timer because I know it's going to stop again. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oops. Let's do, sorry guys, one second here. Pull this chat back up here. And then let's do timer. Timer there. There you go. So, I'm just going to add, oops. I thought I had my reference up, I did not. There we go. Very unnecessary. Very unnecessary. Like if I look up vision, like if I gave him like a vision-ish type face, there you go. Uh, is there a little echo, guys? So this is a little echo. You know, you weren't. You're not the first one who said that. Let me check. How about that? Is that better? Is that better, guys? The echo gone? The echo gone? Uh, Ayan is from India. So it's good to see you, my friend. A lot of you guys are uh, from India. Thank you for being here. Echo's gone, but I'm just a little bit quieter, so I'm just going to boost. Thank you. Thank you guys for letting me know. I'm just going to boost my audio a little bit. Is that better? A little bit better? Okay. There you go. Iron Man 4 with Tom Cruise. I'm there. I'm there, and they're going to actually build an Iron Man suit that will work. <laughs> that will actually fly. <laughs> you know, that's what Tom Cruise is going to do. If he's going to space... What, what is that? Mission Impossible? What is that now? Five? If he's going to space for Mission Impo Impossible 5, then uh, it is what it is. I can barely hear you now, so let me just boost this all the way. Is that better, guys? Better? Better? Like that? Okay, good. All right. Oh, thank you, Juice. Thank you very much. There you go. Yeah, Tony Sutter, like, you could tell. They, they are setting up this, this next generation of, of Marvel heroes. They are. And this anime movie is no, excep no exception. It's, it's no exception. You could tell. They are uh, setting up Ant-Man's daughter for some big things. Okay, I, I think that's not a spoiler to say that. It's definitely not a spoiler to say that. But... Uh, Niven... Rouse says, I love your videos. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ha ha. Likes my videos. Likes my videos. Oh, one second here, guys. I'm just going to pull up some more reference. Kang reference. Let me get some Kang reference here, guys. Go on. There you go. So. Oh, Mission Possible. Are we at eight already? Sticks and Studios? We're at eight already. Mission Impossible eight. I remember when the first Mission Impossible came out. It was very hard to understand. <laughs> I watched it on uh, I watched it on DVD, and then my friend had to pause and explain things to me. My friend had to pause. It was actually Mark Michael. He actually pause it. How can you find references to draw 
Uh, I'll just call you Kate because I can't. Uh, I'm scared of losing my spot. Um. Well, uh, well, to get my references, it's a very, very complex site. Uh, so let me let me spell it out for you there, my friend uh, Kate. Here. So it's the G, O, O, <laughs> G. <laughs> oh, Google, definitely Google. Um, there are also sites that you know are uh, more royalty free if you wanted to keep safe that way, like Pexels.com. Um, but again, I'm just going off promotional art, I'm going off uh, images of the actor, like stuff like that. That's what that's what I. That's what I uh, let's see here. Weaver says, "Am I on Pinterest?" I, I think I have an account, but I, I, I definitely don't use it for sure. I definitely don't. Don't use it as much as I should. So, so there you go. Uh, let's see. So many MIs for sure. Draw Shang Chi. I will be drawing Shang Chi and Miss Marvel soon. Fighting Kang with rings and the bangle. Oh, so you're, you're doing a whole scene there, my friend. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, let's see here. I can't wait to see Kang. What was that? What uh, Juice says? I can't wait to see Kang as the next big bad, setting up so many new villains. My friend, you have no idea. Uh, all I will say is, watch Ant Man and the Wasp. Watch Ant Man and the Wasp. Okay, is that you, you see where they're going with this thing and you're like, oh wow, oh wow. And then again, that's all I will say. That's all I will say. Please. But again, thank you again to my buddies at, um, at Marvel Studios Canada. Uh, big thank you to them, Marvel Studios Canada for uh, For letting uh, myself and my family come and uh, experience it. It was pretty fantastic. Great time. Great time. Had by all. There you go. Let's see here. Uh, Israel likes my drawing. Thank you, my friend. Don't use the heavy wine. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, my friend. Just a little bit to shade. Just a little bit. Not too much. Not too much. Just enough, just enough shade, my friend, just enough. So right now I'm adding details that aren't really in the outfit. Because I feel like it. So I'm going to actually look at some, you know what you look at? I'm going to look at some vision reference. Uh... Uh, Darius uh, Corey actually asked a very, uh, very good question. Someone had, uh, nobody really asked me before. Uh, how far were you in your career when you were able to jump into inking so early with your sketch phase? That's a wonderful question. Um, and Wolf, Wolf's Arts World says, looks awesome. Thank you, my friend. Um, it wasn't till I left comics. It wasn't till I left comics. Um, I was already working in film at the time. Uh, but then I was doing some side work because I was living in Vancouver and uh, my family wasn't with me yet. So it was six months I was living by myself in Vancouver before my my, uh, my wife and my child moved over. So uh, I picked up some side work because I was bored. I was just bored. Picked up some side work and... Uh, And I thought to myself, okay, because they paid you a little bit more. They paid you just a little bit more if you're able to uh, ink your own stuff, right? If you're able to ink your own stuff, they'll pay you just a little bit more. So I saw that uh, there was an artist named Tommy Yoon, speed racer artist. Actually, he's a very uh, prolific artist, Tommy Yoon. Because he did speed racer and he did everything, right? He did colors, uh, drawing and all that. And he was explaining his process. And he was saying that, uh, and let me get the timer up here before I lose that. Where was the timer? Uh, the way he did it was he would blue line and then go straight to ink. And one thing I really hated about inking 
Because, you know, I, I did all my own stuff for a little, little bit. One thing I hate about inking, it was, it was like I was drawing it twice. I was drawing it very, it was, it was hard because I was drawing it twice. So I said, well, Tommy, the way Tommy Yoon does it, I don't have to draw it twice. All the little lines I like to add, all of the uh, little, little details like right now, I don't have to, I don't have to draw it again. I can just draw it one time if I just go straight to ink and do it. So that's what I ended up doing. So when I was, so I did a few Transformers covers for, for IDW and that's how I tried to do it. So that would have been 2007, 2007, 2006, I think 2007, actually 2007, it'd be 2007. That's when I started going straight to ink with my work and I liked it a lot. It was a lot faster. It was a lot faster and made the inking part way more fun for me because it wasn't like I was quote unquote tracing myself. It was, uh, you know, I was literally, you know, you know, I was drawing, but with ink. I was drawing with ink. So does uh, Tommy Yoon have an IG? Uh, Tommy Yoon, Y-U-N-E. Y-U-N-E, Tommy Yoon. So, so look that up. I don't know, I have no idea if he has an uh, IG or not. He's a, he's an uh, older artist. Or I won't say older, it's more like uh, he was a classic artist back then. I have no idea what he's doing now, but. Uh, but that's where they got the inspiration for doing this. And you know, it's better on the uh, uh, relationships too. Like, uh, you know, anchors would hate to do my stuff because I would just add so much stuff. What's that? <laughs> uh, comic artist, uh, that light likeness is incredible. Thank you. Uh, that does stuff. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, my friend. You know, likenesses was always something I was never good at when I was uh, when I was uh, younger in my comics career. And then when I started doing three D modeling, when I started doing three D modeling for film. Uh, pretty much, you know what we would do when you make a 3D model back in the day. They don't do this anymore because pretty much it's like a press of a button these days. But uh, before, you know, we would have a front view of the care of the of the actor, side view of the actor, uh, a three quarter view of the actor. We would put a, a piece of geometry in the middle and we would pull it. So it was kind of like uh, it was kind of like tracing in a way. But that's how we would do it. And I actually learned so much about facial features and all that, that really helped me in learning how to do uh, better likenesses. I'm not, like, I'm still not there yet. Like, I'm not as good as, like, for example, my, my buddy Mass Art, who's incredible at doing likenesses, you know, but I'm way better than I used to be. Let's just say that. Way, way better than I, than I used to be. Uh, but again, still learning. There are times that it doesn't turn out the way I'd like it to, but a lot better than I would have done to say 20 years ago. 30 years ago. So, uh, Carson B980 says, uh, Hey James, I'm an artist myself. I absolutely want to do more. Thank you so much. You inspired me to draw and fit in all those details. Well, thank you so much, Carson. Thank you so much. Uh, right. Uh, let's see here. Can you make the cameras focus? Oh, it's a little out of focus, my friend. Uh, let me check if I can focus. It's just thank you for letting me know. And let me see if I get, oh, it's not autofocus. It should be focusing. If I keep it on manual, maybe that'll be better. Hopefully that's better for you guys. What time is it now? It's uh, almost 12. Lunch time, guys. 12 o'clock Eastern. Uh, Deadly Ritesh says, love your artwork. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Let's see. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and we'll start drawing his chest area here. Let me, let me pull up some reference for that. Uh, I, which I do have. That I should have readily available. Uh, comic artist asks, what kind of cameras do I use? Well, I have a uh, A7 III, a Sony A7 III here. That's going to cost you a little, that's a little bit more. And it, you, you honestly don't really need that. But uh, it, it is my better quality camera for sure. 
the Sony a7 III. Uh, I also have here a Sony a6100, a little bit cheaper, a little bit cheaper, but uh, not not cheap though. I would never say that's cheap. That's a, uh, it cost me, I, it cost me a thousand dollars Canadian if I'm not mistaken. That particular camera. And then on on Instagram, I'm using my C920, or C920, no, it's not, it's not a C920. Uh, my, uh, on Instagram, I'm just using my uh, Note 9, my Note 9. Nope, nine. So, uh, and uh, the camera I'm actually using right now is my Logitech. I, I forgot what it's called, but it's a little bit, it's a step up from the C920. But uh, that's a very detailed face. Thank you, Mario. Thank you. Back with the king. King. Oh, uh, there you go. They are pricey comic artists, but you don't need that much, guys. You don't, you don't, I always tell people, people everyone's starting off, you want to start off on uh, YouTube, okay? I will always tell you, if you have a laptop, okay? Well, I always say to people first, start with their phone. Start with your phone. Every phone today has a camera. You can always start with that, okay? If you start with a phone, you can already start making content. If you go a step up and you have a laptop, I would tell you, get yourself a C920, okay? It's cheap. Uh, I think in US, it's only like $50, $60. And you could do unlimited recording with a laptop, using OBS and a laptop already. Already you could start making content, okay? So you don't have to go out and pay thousands of dollars for, for, for a camera, you, you don't. You definitely do not have to. On Instagram, my friends, can some of you tag Marvel Studios camera? A camera. Marvel Studios. Give me a Marvel Studios camera, my friends. Give me some of the, uh, Those of you on Instagram, can you can you some of you guys tag Marvel Studios Canada on there for me? That would mean a lot if you could. Oh, maybe I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. I can tag. That's me. Muscular artist, that's me. Oh, there you go. Just kidding. Thank you, my friend. I know what I'm doing. Thank you, CJ. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Not that they do anything. <laughs> but... So, uh, Sin says the two post credit scenes are important and not like Doctor Strange. Well, I wouldn't call the Doctor Strange on it's not important. They do set up something that's happened. I will say, okay, this is what I'll say with those two post credit scenes. They do set up a lot of things coming up. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Okay? So, again, you know, just like every other Marvel movie, one right away, one post credit scene right away, right after they do the initial cast, and then one right at the end. Okay. Both are extreme. I won't call them extremely important, but they are important. They are very, very important. Okay. Let's see here. So we'll see, guys. I might go back live uh, later this afternoon. Okay, so we'll see. Uh, MJ Wall, do you need permission to draw characters on YouTube? No, I will say that right now. No. Uh, if I, if you did, um, I wouldn't have this channel right now. I think a lot of these companies, they, they feel it's more promotion. So it all depends on which company you're dealing with. Like Marvel, DC, uh, they feel it's more like promotion. Now, however, if you were to use video clips, there are some more stricter than others. For example, Warner Brothers is extremely strict. If you were to use video clips from any of their movies or trailers or anything like that, especially, especially if you use sound, especially if you sell, you sell. So, uh, you know, but to draw, no, not at all. You can draw whatever you want on the internet. It's all good, man. Oh, good. So go for it. How do you perfect the posing when you draw? 
I could do muscle mattity and de detail, but I haven't got my poses down. I would suggest you guys life drawing. Life drawing, life drawing, life drawing, life drawing. They will help you so much in terms of learning how to pose things. Uh, you know, if you ever could take a life drawing class, and they have like, uh, you know, they do have some, uh, you, you, could, you could find it pretty easily, learning how to life draw, that, that helped a lot. It definitely helped a lot. Learning how to do poses, learn, understanding anatomy helps a lot too. Understanding um, the way the skeleton works, that definitely helps a lot. So those are definitely uh, things to, uh, to look into, for sure. So. No spoilers, is Quantumania sad, Christian Silva? Um, I don't want to answer because I think either way I say that, it could be a spoiler. Let's just say that, okay? And again, uh, we'll do a spoiler discussion and then I can answer that again definitively later. But I don't want any hint of a spoiler, so I'm not going to answer that question. Okay? So I don't want any hint of a spoiler to give to you guys. So uh, I won't. I refuse. I refuse. Uh, what is my favorite drawing I've ever did? Uh, see, oh, again, I, I mentioned this before. In terms of professionally, uh, for somebody, for somebody, I would say the Transformers, six hundred character. For myself. I will say uh, the very first Star Wars mural I did, uh, and uh, well, that actually that would be my second. My first would be this mural I did from for my church for their hundredth anniversary. I did that in twenty fourteen, and it was actually the catalyst for a lot of the stuff that you see me do today. Uh, so if I didn't do that piece, I would have never done that Star Wars piece. I would have never done, which would have led me never to do those Marvel murals that uh, Marvel commissioned me to do, right? So, on so many levels, that's why that is one of my favorite pieces that I've ever done. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Poobability says, since you drew about 100 Jedis, would you do the same for the set? Uh, yeah, that was actually the intent when I did that. I was playing, but, but here's the hard part. There's not a hundred Sith. I, I was doing the counting. There's, there's way less Sith than, than there are Jedi. There's way less. Um, I was actually struggling to find as many uh, Sith as I could. I was struggling. Now, I'm pretty sure there is a, over a hundred Sith for sure, but you would have to go into Legends you know, there, there, there's like, you, you have to look. Because remember the rule of two. It's not like, uh, it's not like, um, like the Jedi, where there's like hundreds of Jedis at a time. Rule of two. There's only a couple, uh, you know, a couple at a time. So there's definitely not a lot of Sith. Uh, so I'd love to do 100 Sith. But uh, I don't think there's going to be that many. But there could be now more, for sure. Uh... Oh no, Sid, no, don't worry. No, no, please ask me ask me as many questions as you want. No worries. I understand that for sure. And besides, besides I love it when you, know, you guys ask questions that I've answered already because I know how to answer them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Indominus uh, Cyrus Sire, says, Kate the Conqueror. Kyle. Uh, Shadow Third, how am I? I'm good, my friend. I'm good. Uh, oh, there you go, Poop Ability. Poop Ability has a family tree which includes every Sith, both canon and legend. See, that's the thing. I would, I would have to go into legends. I would have to if I were to get to 100. It's one of those things I kind of don't want to do it if it's not to 100. Pang. Let's see. Any tips for drawing eyes, noses, and lips? 
uh, look at the mirror, I guess. Look at the mirror? Yes, <laughs> there you go. I've heard of that cone rose. I have heard of that. Again, guys, thank you for joining in and helping me out. Um, we'll see how long I go, guys, because I, I, I just realized I do have to eat before I, I leave. Um, I might come back later today, maybe. We'll see, but I do have some uh, things I need to take care of. So I just thought, you know, since I'm doing a little bit of work here this morning, that I might as well throw the camera on, get a little bit of work done. Seeing how much. <laughs> do I still have the rock picture when I draw the rocks? I have, yes, I do. Uh, so, yep, downstairs. Downstairs. That's where it is. The question is how I'm going to make this a little bit more detailed without, you know, I could, you could definitely over detail things, guys. You definitely could. I just realized I drew the neck not quite how I wanted to. Whatever, whatever. Any chance, uh, G Man Jr. says, any chance you would do Final Fantasy characters sometime in the future? Or maybe, maybe it's not, uh, again, being honest, it's not um, on the radar right now, but that's definitely something I could do first. So, I will tell you what I, I do have uh, in the pipeline right now, though, guys. Um, so for next week, I have uh, I'm I'm working on three videos a week right now. Um, hey Nathan, good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, can you wish me good luck? I got my driving test next this week. You can do it, Nathan. You can do it. You got it. You got it. Oh, Danielle is uh, secretly a villain. There you go. Um, let's see. Would I drop Back to the Future one? Uh, probably not Back to the Future. So, uh, in terms of my new schedule, guys. This is my new schedule. The way it's working out, and this was kind of unintentional, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So Mondays would be my more, I, well, I won't call it retro, but they're more, uh, I would draw something that's more cartoon, something we would know, right? So for example, this Monday, I'm going to be releasing that Batman uh, video that we did uh, a couple months ago. Oh, we were releasing the full video. Wait till you see the colors, like Thomas. Thomas Mason, guys, go follow him at Mental Studios. Uh, he he kills it with my work every single time. He's been coloring my stuff. Uh, that's fully colored. Little collaboration with my buddy uh, Super uh, Mini Superheroes today. Uh, he he did some custom Batman the Animated Series uh, Lego figures, and they actually look really 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 cool. So. Um, that's coming out on Monday. And then Wednesday, Wednesday's a fun one. I did uh, a Marvel style video and it's uh, Baby Shark. <laughs> and I believe I did that one live, if I'm not mistaken. I, I believe I did that one live. So uh, if you watch that live, you saw it already. But you, again, Thomas did a fantastic job with the colors on that one. You gotta see the colors, guys. You gotta see the colors. So baby shark and then we we got thor love and thunder on on uh sunday or friday and then the week after we got the street fighter piece i finished the street fighter piece uh, if you're on instagram you would have saw that uh i finished that street fighter piece that we did and one piece that you haven't seen yet guys dudes um i did i did uh an avengers and coco melon crossover it's actually pretty funny, man. It's pretty funny. I, I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite pieces I've done in a while. I did a, I did a mashup between Avengers and Coco Melon. It's one of the better pieces I've done in, a, in quite a while. I, I, I took my time with that one. 
I never, I didn't do that one live, uh, but it's one of my favorite pieces I've done in a while. So uh, hopefully you guys will see that. So there you go. Uh, Art Machine says, that's awesome. Do you have any advice for me? Keep drawing, my friend. Keep drawing. Ah, here's some advice. That's a little um, controversial uh, in that sense. But at the same time, guys, at the same time, I want you guys to eat. Okay? So all of you guys, a lot of you who watch my channel, you're very young. You're on the younger side. Some of you are in high school. Whatever. I will tell you right now, as I will tell you right now, okay, it's honest advice. You know me. I don't, I don't, uh, yes. Oh, that's not me. It's your brother. Uh, I will tell you guys, all you young artists, all you young artists watching, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you're watching, guys, learn the AI. Learn it. Uh, as much as it's really bad for artists right now, as much as I hope that uh, like Carla Ortiz wins that lawsuit. I really hope she does. I really hope they win that. I hope they slow it down, but it's like inevitable. It's inevitable. They'll find some way around it. And the, the artists that are gonna win are the people who are, can use it to their advantage. So I will tell you guys, you know, while it's here, learn it. Learn it, learn how to use it in a way that the regular person can't use it. Okay, that's what I will tell you young artists out there. Learn how to use the AI and then try to figure out a way to use it that the regular person can't because you're an artist. That's what I'm going to tell you to do, okay? Because it's there, it's available, we can stick our head in the sand and say, uh, you know, uh, it's going to go away. It's not going We know. We live in the age of the internet. We know it's not going away. We know it's not going away. So figure out how to use it. Because let's be real, in uh, 10 years from now, will the commercial artist still be around? It might not be. And who's gonna win? The people who know how to, knows how to press the buttons. Who know how to press the buttons, right? It is what it is, you know? Again, we, can, we hope that uh, the lawsuits that are going on right now, that will help prolong it, right? And that's good for artists like myself, but for you young guys, for you youngins out there, that, uh, you know, who wanted to be an artist for your career. If you want to be an artist when you get older, that might be how you, you got to do it, you know? I hope. So, sorry to be uh, doom and gloom a little bit. Just a little bit, but no, it's not doom and gloom. It's real. I'm, I'm telling you how it is. It's real. So, anywho. Anywho, uh, Looney Tunes in a Marvel style. I like it. I like it a lot. So, so Mondays will be the more retro side. So that's when I'm going to do more of the Ben 10 stuff. That's when I'm going to do the old Cartoon Network stuff. That's when I'm going to do stuff like Looney Tunes, for sure. Those videos come out Monday. Wednesdays would be a lot younger. A lot younger. That's where you're going to see me do like more things like Sesame Street. You can see me do things like Baby Shark, Cocomelon, like all that stuff. And then Fridays, that's when we're going to get into the Marvel movie stuff. Okay. Marvel, DC movies, like the comic book stuff, that's where Friday's for, okay? So, um, guys, I'm just gonna go maybe for another 20 minutes, guys, okay? Uh, we'll go for another 20 minutes and then uh, I'll probably end the stream for now. Uh, I, I get to need to go eat. I can stop the timer and go eat. Uh, and then I, I have some activities to do this afternoon. I might come back later today. I might, I might not. If not, tomorrow for sure, okay? Uh, we'll see how that goes, all right? What happened to your Reacts channel? Um, pretty much stopped. It's a lot hard. You know what? Uh, I won't. Here's the thing with the Reacts channels, guys. You need to put 100% into it, but just like anything else, it's not something you could uh, just, uh, what's it called? Only put half your effort into and, and for it to be successful. Uh, 
it is pretty easy in terms of making the content, but to sustain it, to build an audience, that takes time. That takes time. And I, and I found that I needed more of my resources going to the main channel than that. So, so that's why we kind of stopped it. So. so that's why I'm, I'm waiting to start my uh, wrestling channel because I want to make sure that once I start, once I hit go, that it's going to go and continue going consistently and it's not going to stop. I, I don't want to start it and then stop it. That's because I'm telling you, I'm super excited for the wrestling channel. Definitely super excited. And now would be the time. Like it's now's the hottest time for wrestling right now. Because once uh, Res WrestleMania is over, usually that's the time things calm down a bit. But you know that might be a good time to build that audience. You know, build that uh, wrestling audience at the same time. So. So let's see here. May, M Mahi or May? When did you start to draw and why? I started to draw because it was fun. I don't remember when I started though. You know, people always say like put an age to when you started to draw. I'd love to, but I don't remember. I really don't. Uh, so I'll always, if they want, really seriously want an answer, I'll say maybe when I'm three, maybe. Could have been earlier for that. Well, it could have been earlier than that for all I know, but because it was fun watching my favorite cartoons and I was just trying to draw my favorite cartoons. That's how I got started. So. See, the thing is, you know, sometimes you hear me get quiet, guys. I'm making decisions. I'm trying to figure out how I want this to look here. So that's more. saw somebody talk about bubble guppies um i think that was danielle right i i started a bubble guppies piece i did I, I don't think i did that live though i don't think i ever did that live but bubble guppies i definitely wanted i've been promising my daughter i'd do bubble guppies for years and i never did it i might do that one sooner than later just because that was one i, I sort of really promised her i'd do that i never i never did it like i started i started doing it it was actually looking really, really cool too. It's one of my favorite pieces, uh, but I haven't uh, really touched it since. So. Okay, here we go. Did you guys have lunch already? Well, I don't think it's lunch where you are. Everyone, let me know what time it is where you are right now. Right now for me, it's 12, 13 p.m. right now. 12, 13 p.m. I know on the, uh, the West Coast, that means it's uh, 9, 15 p.m. your time. So uh, what time is it for you guys? Let me know. 9.30 a.m., so you're on the, on the West Coast. There you go, wisdom design, okay. Uh, he's BMA Arts says never stop doing what you love. I agree, my friend. Uh, let's see, six fifteen in the Netherlands. Mike uh, Dubois. Does I say Bois? Mike Dubois. Danielle, it's eleven thirteen, so your central time. Same with yeah, boy. Uh, Trent, your boy Trent, eleven thirteen. So there you go. Israel's my time. Same with uh, Comic Art, my time there. Nathan's five fifteen because he's in the UK. Again, I'll, I guess I'm most likely going to the UK this year. Most likely. 
very, very, very good chance of going to the UK. I don't know if that means I'm going to be doing a meetup or not. Uh, I will be doing my kid show. You guys know, see me talk about my kid show all the time. Uh, I will be doing my kid show. That, or the, at least that's the current plan. We'll see. Hopefully that that goes through. But we are looking at doing my kid show uh, in in the UK this year, maybe in August. So we'll see. The Bois. That's right, Mike. That's right. That's right. We got some French here in Canada. There you go. Uh, Light hunter. Says, if you make a mistake, how do you fix it since you're drawing permanent now? Um, again, a lot of dark marker, a lot of black marker. Uh, and again, worst comes to worst. I have taken pieces of paper, uh, bristle board and covered it before. I have done that if it's something that's, uh, you know, something that's quote unquote professional in that sense. I've done that before. I wouldn't hesitate to do that again. But for the most part, I'd say I'm not. 98% of the time, we'll be able to fix it with just ink and turn it into something else or cover it up. Same thing. So, we're in the UK. I'm not sure, Nathan, but if, if, if I were to guess right now, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like in the London area. Around uh, London, for sure. So, I'll let you guys know. Though, uh, if I do go there, I am eyeing. I am eyeing. Uh, I am I am going to TF Nation, which is I believe is in Manchester, on uh, in the middle of August. So it's a maybe. Uh, like I haven't asked them uh, yet, but that's a maybe. Well, so we'll see. I'm just seeing if all the all the stars are aligned, as, as we say, and everything works out. So. Uh, okay, take care, Israel. Take care, my friend. Uh, do you like uh, Hanna Barbera cartoons? Absolutely. Space Ghost, especially. I'd love to do another Space Ghost uh, one. Sure. Nathan said we'll try the best. It would be great to see you in person, my brother. My bro. My bro. Be great to see you in person there, Nathan. For sure. Well, I'll let you know for sure. When it comes closer. All of you guys in the UK, it'd be great to see you. What time is it here? Okay, guys, we're we're winding down here, guys. Um, Just a little bit. When you know, just a little bit. There are some things I want to take care of before uh, before I leave uh, for today. So if you guys have any last minute questions, now's the time for sure. Uh, would it be interesting, fun, funny if you did Thanos in different art styles? Oh, absolutely. Um, I am going to be doing a Thanos piece. I got this very cool mech strike. Thanos toy that I actually got on sale at, at Winners. It looks really cool. So I want to draw that for sure. So that's uh, coming sooner than later. So I will be doing a Thanos video sooner than later for sure. Oh, you still have that comic I sent for you. There you go, Nathan. I can send it twice. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Just keep adding all these unnecessary, unnecessary details, my friend. Unnecessary. It, it doesn't need it. Oh, uh, the Goat Dragon threw in a super chat there. Thank you so much, Goat Dragon. Love the videos, keep up the good art up. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. You know, I just realized if you're watching on Twitch and uh, and Facebook, I'm just checking on the comments here. If anyone can comment on Twitch and Facebook, oh, nobody has. That's good. I must. I might have missed your comment. But thank you so much, the Go Dragon. Thank you so much. 
for your support. It really means a lot to me. Thank you, my friend. There you go. What if you redrew your old art? You know what's funny about that there, Danielle? Um, I look at my old art from like 20 years ago and I don't think I've gotten that much better. I didn't, <laughs> I really don't think so. I don't think I have. <laughs> I was like, you know, you're those, those guys who do it from their like teens. Cause I don't have any art, more artwork from when I was young, young. You know what I mean? I don't have any more like that. But uh, I was looking at the ones that I, had, I did that could have been. And I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So probably not the best thing. Hello, Sword. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you. <laughs> Isn't that funny? 20, 20 years later, I I haven't improved. I have not improved. My inking got better. Maybe my inking got better. But I really feel I haven't improved that much. You know, you see these people do the incredible transformations of their art. Like in a year, and I'm like, good for you, man. Because for me, it's like, no, my, my art stayed the same. I've always been drawing like this. So, oh, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Rectory. Maybe one day, maybe. Uh, let's see here. Hello, Alex. How you doing? Okay, guys, we're gonna wind down. I, I think I'm gonna end off here shortly. It's just, you know, I uh, again, I have some things to do. I have an event I have to take go to very soon. So. I might be back later today. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, if not, maybe tomorrow. I would like to get back to live streaming though, guys. We had a very fun November and December live streaming. I, I think it was more like October, November live streaming. It was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, no matter how many people were there with us, you know, it was just a lot of fun to do. So, perfection doesn't need improvement. Well, I need a lot of improvement because I'm definitely not perfect. Perfect there, my friend, my friend Mike. There you go. Uh, there you go. So thank you guys for watching, all of you. Thank you for watching. I, I think we'll, we'll end it off here for now. As you see, a long way to go. Long way to go. Hey, right, Matthew's here. How you doing, brother? How you doing, my buddy Matthew's here? How you doing, brother? My, my friend, every time I look at you, Matthew, uh, I feel really old. I feel really old. <laughs> you're, you're a young man now. Young man now. Good to see you, brother. Um, uh, Martin, uh, Matthew, watch me. And I had less than a hundred thousand. Now I'm over a million. Thank you, my brother. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, so yeah, coming along. Take a quick look here. Uh, so as you see, guys, lot, lots to do. Definitely a lot to do. Look at that. Look at that. Lot, lot to do. Uh, so we'll, we will get there eventually. We will get there eventually. And uh, hopefully we can do that together. Actually, looking at it now, uh, there are some decisions I need to change uh, after drawing the head. Uh, I'm actually not very happy with the torso here. I might, I might fix that up a little bit. We'll see. Okay, we'll do that later. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. Just do another pineapple stream, Nathan. Maybe one day, but that doesn't fit in with my uh, uh, doesn't fit in with my uh, diet. There. That's okay. That's okay, Danielle. You're here for every other day, so we'll make sure maybe you're here all, all week. Uh, a sword says I'm, um, I'm about to draw as well. Any advice for us with? Anatomy. Well, again, just even learning what the muscles are. You know, that, that's already a start there. A start. But uh, next time, I'll definitely go a lot deeper into that question. Okay, guys, if you want to hang out with me, hit that bell. Make sure you guys hit the bell so that you're with me, uh, you know, next time I'm live. I don't know when I'll be live, but I will uh, definitely uh, let you know. Okay, guys? So, before I go, before I go, give me a high five, my friends. High five right here. On the camera in here. High five, my friend. High five right here. High five right here. High five right here. Okay, love you guys all. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. And my name is James, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Do I know how to turn this off? How do I stop this? Oh, I have to go into my uh, OBS. I got to go my OBS. Okay, guys. Take care, everybody. Take care. Have a wonderful day. High five, guys. High five. Take care. Love you, too.